This video is about insulation materials for insulating houses. We will compare uh, three insulation materials, uh, polyurethane, glass wool and wood fiber. Um, polyurethane, to begin with, is a very, very cheap. A major supplier is a Kingspan and it has really, really excellent insulation properties. A very low lambda value of 0.025. Really very good. Uh, glass fiber or glass wool is uh, also quite cheap. Uh, Saint-Gobain is one of the uh, main suppliers in Europe. They have a product called Isover and it has uh, really good insulation properties. Not quite as good as uh, polyurethane but still very very good and it's, uh, it's also not very expensive. And then the third material is uh, wood fiber. Now wood fiber costs slightly more. Uh, the insulation values are almost as good as glass fiber but not not quite there um, and main suppliers are uh, Pavatex, Gutex, uh, Steiko um, so those are the three um, materials that we're gonna compare so here's the overview uh, polyurethane really really cheap and excellent uh, insulation properties on paper that is uh, glass fiber or glass wool, uh, still very good insulation properties, also not very expensive. And then finally wood fiber, uh, 0.038 lambda value, which is uh, below the rest, uh, and also it costs more. So the question is, why would you use wood fiber instead of uh, a really cheap product like polyurethane, which, which even has the best properties? Well, in this video, we will uh, try to explain this to you. So this is our test uh, box. In this box we have built three uh, sort of mini houses. On the left we have a house with uh, wood fiber insulation. In the middle we used glass wool and on the right we used polyurethane. And uh, this is, so this is the wood fiber. And if I take it off you will see um, some more insulation material. If I can focus, yes. So there's a, it's, it's eight centimeters all around and on the inside there is a, a, a hollow room and we put a temperature sensor on the inside. Here's the wire, the wire goes up and then here is the readout. So we can see what the temperature at, the, uh, at this small room on the inside is. And we did the same for glass wool and here is the polyurethane. So here we go. We switch on the uh, three infrared lamps. We record the temperatures in the three temperature readouts for a period of about two hours. And then we put everything in a spreadsheet and here's the graph that we get. We get three lines. The blue line is the wood fiber, red is glass fiber, glass wool, and the uh, yellow one is the polyurethane. Uh, one surprising thing is that the polyurethane graph goes up fastest. So you would think that with this low lambda value, um, polyurethane would be the best insulator and the temperature would go up not so fast. But no, actually polyurethane, uh, the, the, the temperature in the polyurethane house goes up fastest. And the reason for this is that um, there's a lot of moisture in the wood fiber and it takes a lot of time for the sun or an infrared lamp to burn or boil away all this wood, uh, all this moisture. And all the time your uh, wood fiber walls and your wood fiber uh, roof will act as a massive cooling element. So what this means is that uh, in August, um, on a hot, uh, hot uh, sunny afternoon, your attic, if it's insulated with uh, uh, polyurethane, will not be very comfortable. It will be like an oven. Um, and you, you, well, you have two options. You can, you can install an air conditioner or you can go sit in the garden. Had you in insulated your attic with wood fiber, it would be still a very comfortable and pleasant environment. The second thing that you will see is that after 65 or 70 minutes, uh, we switch off the lamps, um, compare that to the sun uh, going down, sun setting in the evening, um, and you see these temperatures still going up. Um, that's logical, there's uh, some energy stored in the walls. Um, and so these temperatures keep going up for a short period. In the polyurethane, it goes up, keeps going up for about five minutes, and then um, the temperature curve goes down. And, and actually, the, the, the temperature in the polyurethane house quickly follows the outside temperature. With glass wool also, after five to ten minutes, uh, the glass wool curve goes down. But the 
the, the, the temperature in the wood fiber house keeps going up and up and up. And uh, again, moisture is here uh, the culprit. Uh, the moisture is warm uh, and the moisture keeps uh, warming your house. So your warm walls and your warm roof act as a super massive heat store. And that will um, heat or warm your house in the evening. Uh, do you have an, uh, a polyurethane house? You need to put up the fireplace. Um, do you have a uh, wood fiber insulation? You can just, well, do nothing because the walls will still be warm. This concludes our uh, demonstration. Um, what we have seen is that um, when it comes to insulation materials, the lambda value is only part of the story. The lambda value or the R value or U value, actually they're all three the same, it's the same property. Um, they're only part of the story when it comes to the thermal performance of your house. There are more things that come into play than just this R value. Um, the moisture content and let's say the the heat capacity of your walls, the heat capacity of your roof could be a lot more important than just this R value. So think about that when you make a choice for your next insulation material. Thanks for watching.